This is hard work cloth, uh, 19 gauge, half inch mesh. I bought this at Lowe's. It's usually at the garden aisle. And look at it, it's a bunch. I can make a bunch of uh, crap snares with this, with this bad boy. <laughs> What's up? What's up? I'm just trying to open this for my crap snares. Look who's bothering me. <laughs> Why are you here, huh? Why are you here? So I guess be careful when you open this, because it just springs open. <laughs> I'm just unwrapping it right now. It keeps opening by itself. There you go, I think that's it. You're gonna cut it like this. Uh, just pause and or, and just do look at it. Um, this is pretty much from Matt's uh, design. So there's two points here. It should be flat, but my pliers don't cut that flat. Two here, uh, three here, and three here. It's about two boxes down. And also leave these two points here. And that's this is for the body of the cage, not the cover. You can have like scraps like this. Which we reuse it. So here, just just pause and do it. What I used to cut are these uh six inch wire cut pliers, wire cutters. Uh, it's from Walmart, maybe like five, six bucks. I don't want to wear safety glasses. You should wear safety glasses, but I'm not wearing it. <laughs> yeah. I lose an eye. Uh oh. Supplies to cut fine. Alright, so to make it faster, if you want to mass produce these yourself, um, ah, shoot. so you just, you just cut a whole section of um, 12 boxes and then you, uh, you cut them like this so you have a whole 12 box. And then what you do is you count uh, seven boxes. Here, I'm gonna put it on the table so I can focus. So you count seven boxes because that's what you need. So you see like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I marked it with a sharpie uh, where to where to cut out the pliers. So this 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 whole row will be gone, be waste. So you start the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I marked another one there. And you just keep going the whole row. So pretty much a whole row, you make all the all the uh, body, and then next time you make the the the, the cover next row. And just keep going, so you won't be wasteful. And yeah, this thing uh, you make a lot of traps and you save money. <laughs> So once you're done cutting them, uh, you should end up with nine body body frames. The last one you have to cut have a little extra. Um, if you get my size um, whirl, you have to you have this. So you got that. And yeah, that's nine. Uh, the pliers are starting to get a little dull, but it hurts my hand. Whatever, cheap it works. <laughs> and let's move on to. The cap, but let me just make it like this. So same thing as the body with the covers. Um, I just marked it every seven. Yeah, let me just count it for you one more time. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The next one cut. This would be waste. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Same thing. I just keep going all the way to the end. Uh, on the actual roll, there's there's a uh, you can use these as the other end because they're pointy now. And just as uh, this end, just like that. And then I guess once you cut that, you can reverse it, reverse, and just keep going. Yeah, so just 
cut the covers and then make this, put the cover on. I'll, I'll show it later. On the last one, I should have done this on the, on the cover too, but instead of marking it on the last one, you could just cut here. Because you have a full square, it'll be nice and smooth. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And just cut here. Instead of just cutting it. So I think that's more useful. So these doors don't need these uh, little extra legs. Just, uh, just, just cut them out. So it'll be a square. This one was the last one. I didn't have to do it. So cut these squares. So you gotta trim these the body's uh, spikes too as well. The, these. Uh, leave these alone, not on the shorter end. But the, on the long edge, just cut these. I already cut two here. Just cut all of them. Because ultimately you want it to look like this. I, I did all the doors already. I skipped ahead. <laughs> I just cut these. So I did all of them. It's all the same. That's the pointy ends. So you gotta turn this into this. Uh, a little bit of past time, just watch like a YouTube video or something. I'm watching Outdoor Chef Life. Pretty cool guy. Uh, I think he's in the Bay Area as well. But uh, yeah, so make this turn, make this into this. So once you're done, um, just flatten it out a bit. It's easy to use two hands. Just make it more flat. And uh, you, you fold it. Uh, to make the body and let me put the camera down so here's the first step first fold it's really easy just to fold it so you just fold it here so you just slowly go it up okay that's one fold and next you do the other side let me put the camera down and here's the next step just fold the body along so here's the previous step Next one. See? Doop, doop. So the next step is this one or this one. You can do it either way, it doesn't matter. So you see the body and the side. And do one more with this. I don't even have to show you the whole step. <laughs> so here, you just fold it like that. See? So this. And now you just gotta push that in. Do that now. Push what in? It's focused? Wait. Okay. Okay, so you reach this point, uh, you get pliers, and then you just pull it around. Oop. Damn it. Pull it around. Is this one? I'm gonna kinda make it so it hugs. So it won't open. That's harder than it looks. That's one. You need to do all four corners. Mm-hmm. Oh, you had that. It's already in the video. <laughs> I'm just moving it. Move oh. space for you. Okay. So I guess the easy way I just found that right now is to go here and just bend it and then turn it. And this one you have to, this one goes on top, fold like that. What about the cover? Hmm? Later. Uh, I'm just, you have to fold this, these three in. Uh, these three in, just like this. These two will fill the door. Do that later. Okay.
Is it breaking? Wow, nice, huh? The cricket box. It's okay? I think so. It's okay. It's cheaper than buying a real box. Just make your own. Okay, so. Ta da! <laughs> Just be careful of the points, it might, be, it might hurt. This one you gotta move up. up. And make it a door. Oh, door. I might have been doing it wrong. So maybe you need to, you go through to here instead of here on the hinges. So, let me double check. So I watched the video. It is like this. Right, I'm just going to redo the ones I messed up. So you, do. so what you do is you get this and you put it here and you just bend it over so it opens like a door. Gotta redo the ones I did already. <laughs> to make the closures, you need a single jack chain. I have 14. I think Matt uses 16. Uh, then you need hair ties. I believe you also use paper clips, but I found this at Home Depot or Lowe's. So I might as well, I might as well get it. Okay, I'm sorted out. Once you're able to get one of the jacks out, um, I use pliers to help mend it out. Uh, you, you get a hair tie. And Good to you, see you, me. <laughs> put through here. So. I'm, I actually haven't really done this. I'm not sure if this how they do it, but I'm just improvising right now. And then you get your jack chain. Wait. Oh, let's focus. Just put it in there. And you might want to close it just in case. Oh, there's one. And there's two. Let me let me close it. Ah, okay, so that should be closed. It's not going anywhere. I have to, to close it? Yeah, why? What the So if, if this fails, you could just use, always use a cable tie. I just, I never really used this before. I just saw it in the video. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make the loops now. You watch my other video. I made loops on the other, other snares, but I'm gonna make it for this. So you can see. In the other video, I went down, but I heard you to go up instead. But I'll show you. Okay, bye-bye. So while doing these, I found out I like to, these two points here that hold the door, I like to push them in so they'll be on the same box so the door won't slide around. So it'll just stay. Uh, I'm, just, I'm finding out as more as I go. <laughs> so on the last one, I figured out that to make it easier, um, just fold it down first and then put it around the edges. Oh, uh, line it better. I cut myself once. <laughs> yeah, just be careful. So if you break one of those, um, just get scrap, and then just wrap it around and close it. It should hold. So, I actually attached it wrong. This is the wrong way. This is the correct way. I might redo the other ones, but just do that like that. Put the hook and then go down. I'll show you the finished product. So all these have their hooks on there. Um, 
my car is not very good, so it's kind of pointy here. Whatever, it'll work. So then put the squid in or bait. So just like my other video, what you gotta do to make the 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 loops like these is get 13 inches of this. Uh, yeah, do that right now. So you need each uh, loop will be 13 inches, and each uh, snare will need six of those. So nine times six, it's a lot for me to cut. <laughs> I'll just cut um, six for now to show you. Yeah. So I got, okay, so I got six uh, here, six, uh, what's it called? Weed Whacker line cut into 13 inches each. And also I have these from Amazon. Uh, it's like crimp, crimp, uh, something you can crimp and it'll, it's like metal. You put two loops, oh, shoot, put in the trash. Okay, I'll show you another one. <laughs> it's like that. And what you do, I'll have Sheila hold it for me. Okay, hold it for me, like this. This? Yeah. It's not, um, I don't know. Know. Yeah. So, you put one loop here. So, you, what you can do is put one loop here. Yeah, and then the camera focus for you. It's focusing, it's focusing. There you go. So one loop is in, and you just you grab it, put it in again. And then you just make it really small as you can. Make it small as you can. Because uh, if it's too big, it'll get stuck on the other on the other. So then try to push this here and then squeeze more. And then, so make sure um, the this hoop it's facing the the wire. So right now it's it's, it's actually pretty good. It's actually facing it. It goes easy. So if it's like crooked or something, you gotta keep twisting it. To, uh, a little trick I found out is that you twist it extremely the other way and you crimp it right away. So it'll it'll go straight like this. Okay, so let me crimp this so. You can see. Okay. Okay. Make it smaller. Too much lotion in my hands. <laughs> and you just crimp it. So, oh, I have a crimping tool from Amazon as well. So you squeeze. Squeeze. And that's not going anywhere. Okay, so it's like that. And then it'll, it'll be like that. Shoom, shoom, shoom. Okay, so I'll do all six and then I'll see you in a bit. So once you have all six, I have six here. Um, let, me hang on, let me hold the camera. So you. So you have this. You put the thing through the loop. And then you put another crimp thing here, and then you're ready to put it onto your cage. So you're gonna have six. You're gonna have one each corner, kind of like Mickey Mouse, like here, oh, here, here, and then here, oh, here, here. And then you're gonna have two in the middle. I like to put one like really facing up like that because I know crabs like to sit on the bait. And then otherwise, I just like to leave on the side or so. So let me uh, show you how. Let me do one, and then I'll show you the finished project. Product. Uh, let me set up the camera right. Hang on. All right. So let me do one for you. And then you could probably do the rest once you know the placement. I'll show you the finished product too. 
So my other video, I started going from the bottom, but I found out you actually go from the top. So let me go this side. So you want Mickey Mouse. So you want here. So you go from the top here. And then you want to bring this up. Put it in there. I know um, some people use like female disconnects for electrical or female connectors and that, that works but I feel like this is a little easier especially when I have the tool so it's like that oh so once I crimp it it'll be like that so I'm trying to make it face up somehow maybe it goes up this way I don't know it's fine I do get some crabs stuck on this on these loops sometimes too so it should be fine so make it tight you can pull 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 Oh, try, not, try not to make this other loop go in and then you crimp it I know it's kind of blurry but I'll show you the final one okay so you have one already in there cool, huh? so it crabs like ah, I want to eat and then, oh no <laughs> That's one. So do all four or all six, and I'll show you there. So I think I kind of like going from down up because when you go from up, it looks like this. What? You okay? <laughs> you want me in the video? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So when I go up, it's like this. It goes hangs up. But if you go from uh, from the top, uh, it's like this. Wait, is it up or down? Yeah, from the bottom it's like it goes like that, but from the top it goes like this. I might redo these two because I don't like it. It's like hanging down. Friendly tip, let them as you go. All right, so next day um, I was getting too late last night, so there's natural lighting now. So I got I got all fours on, two Mickey Mouse, one Mickey Mouse ears here, another Mickey Mouse ear here, and now we gotta do the middle. Um, let me actually put the camera down. Okay, so I'm doing the middle. Uh, let me just do one. Uh, there's about, I think, like seven. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's about six. So I like to do uh, one, two, three, put one here, and then start the other side. You go one, two, three, put it here. So it's kind of. Uh, spread out, see, like, it'd be like here. It's not the same part. So mine would be here. Uh, let me just skip this. So same thing. You put it through the hole. You do this. And then, but this part, I like to, uh, one, two, three. I like to go, uh, All the way from the, from the bottom. Okay, sorry, I was looking at the camera. So go from the bottom. Go up. So when it, when it, when it's resting, it'll be like this, and um, yo, because I, I know I seen videos where crabs are uh, resting on top of the trap, eating the bait, and that's like a good chance you'll get tangled in your snare. Okay, so so once it's like that, then you just gotta crimp it, crimp, crimp, crimp. Uh, this is kind of the hard part, especially with the camera. Oh, and it's like my trap is spiky. Okay, there you go. I got it. There you go. Yes. Oh no! Don't cut! Don't cut my hoop. <laughs> right. So, so that's that's five right now. You have one more. California legal is one more. So, oh my crab! I'm eating your squid or whatever you have in there. Oh my god! Ah. Okay. Maybe put the last one, and I'll just record it for you. 
Here's uh, all six snares on a trap. I didn't place it up, so I was on the side. There was one up. Ooh. Okay. So now what you gotta do is gotta attach the thing for your weight. Also, um, the way we actually go right here, where the door is, and the other side will be where the yeah line connects. For that, I would I use um, these fishing clips I got from Amazon, and then I'll, and these are clips with barrel swivels from uh, Walmart. Uh, this will be to to your line, and this will be for the weight. And I have weights from Walmart too as well. I generally use around three ounces. Um, I think that's good enough. If it's too wavy, I kind of don't want to fish anyways. Uh, I probably won't get anything. So just three ounces is a good uh, starter. All right, let me let me attach them, and I'll show you where I attach them at. Here's the final product. Here's the barrel swivel with the clip just attached to one of them, and then uh, here's the weight attached to the clip there. The clip is attached to the thing itself. And let it focus. Let's see. Uh, it, I'm a little uh, paranoid, so I like to put extra cable tie to the barrel swivel itself and do another uh, uh, cage link, just in case it breaks. Cause it did happen to me before with the Danielson traps. Um, and this one, I don't know if it's strong enough. I haven't really thrown it too much, the ones I made. So, yeah, here it is. It's complete. Here's one. Who wants to buy? 50 bucks. That's <laughs> good. Alright, bye. Good luck. So to finish the rest of them, I counted uh, my crimps. I uh, just have enough. <laughs> I only have this much left for... And I cut uh, 80 more, or, you know, 80 times 6. 480 of these 13 inch weed whacker wires. So, I'll be busy.